Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. The week that was my catch up for last week. What did I get up to with my yarn adventures? I did try and do a video earlier, but we've had a few days of massive rain and storms and losing power. It just became too frustrating and it's still quite dark. So hence artificial lightning. So what did I get up to? Well, my yarn adventures, I have some happy mail that I received and I have some finished objects to share with you and a bit of yarn chat. So let's get started. We'll start with a happy mail. I got a beautiful card of a little snowman from Ella at No Catchy Name. Isn't that sweet? It's really lovely that she thought of me and that she sent me such a cute card. Um, and I will put links to all her channel and everything in the description below that I talk about today. We didn't, as a family, we made had a discussion. We didn't send as many um, cards or end of year presents, as I call them, and um, because and we're not spending as much on each other. We decided we would donate to charity. Um, Australia has gone through a lot of flooding and different things. And besides the economic crisis that's affecting the world, things have been really tough locally for families. And the Good Samaritans were collecting to do food hampers and toys, and we decided we could spend less on ourselves and donate to that. So one of my boss's offices was collecting new toys and gift vouchers and things like that for the Good Samaritans. So Thing and I took a bag of stuff there that we'd bought um, at different places and um, that was our um, I guess physical donation and then they're also Good Samaritans running Christmas appeal as they normally do but we've donated locally because they're doing up food hampers for people who just simply won't have a Christmas dinner and uh, we thought that was our way of really celebrating Christmas being kinder to other people spending less money on ourselves probably buying stuff we don't really need and yes the people I probably didn't send gifts to probably have enough stuff of their own and would appreciate the fact that we gave charity a thought this year a bigger thought we always donate but this year we really did give them a bigger thought especially our local charities so the other happy mail, it was really nice of Ella to remember me. Thank you very much. It's nice to know um, Ella's in the USA and it's nice to know that other podcasters watch the channel and remember me and send cards and things. It really does touch my heart. So thank you, Ella. So what else? I received happy mail from Karen Wright. Karen's a Yanni friend and subscriber and has been for a while. Um, I'll just take the stuff out of that card. There's this lovely card of a little koala. I won't read out what's in it. It's a little personal and different stuff I don't really think I should share. But yes, these are the tea towel toppers that were supposed to arrive before the last market. But as I said, flooding mail getting through has been really difficult. And they've arrived and I will sell them at the next market, which is either February or March that I decide to do. And I want to share with you, there's a big bag of them. See? Now, she did tell me the name in an email of who she learnt the um, tutorial or pattern from. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I'll check out the email. So there you have it. So what's different to mine? Well... You make these and inside is a little loop that you hang your tea towel from so you can change your tea towel daily but still have that there hanging to use so there you go isn't that awesome I have never seen that before and she sent me a lot of toppers that she's made because I do have a lot of tea towels I buy them when I see them on sale or they're really cheap and I have like a tub of them and when I need them I get them out and use them for the market so they will go with the tea towels to raise money for Emma's Quest because yes we will be still fundraising next year until we reach our target 
of 20,000. I think we're just over 10 now. And she also put in there a ball of Swepsties. I can't pronounce it. Color Crafter. Another ball. So I think I have three and all the colors go together. And I was reading this earlier. There's 300 meters in a ball. And I reckon three's kind of getting close to a lap gown. And these are the colors that I have around my house. So you never know. You might see a lap gown coming up in these colors soon. So that was my Happy Mail received. And um, yeah, it really made my way. It, things slowed down a little last week. They tend to start to slow up till just after Christmas. And I had more crafting time. Thing was feeling a lot better, so I didn't have to do as much. Reeves was really helpful, and I caught up on some crafting. I decided after watching a few different people show how many whips they had, I would gather up all my whips. And I said last year I wouldn't let this happen again, and I did. So I gathered them all up, and I have, ready, 21 whips. Shameful, isn't it? See, I'm the sort of person that will start something, I'll be enjoying it, and I'll be watching a YouTube podcaster, and they'll show me something and go, oh, that's nice, shiny, I've got to make that, and I'll put that aside and start another one. So, after rounding up all the whips, I decided I would start trying to finish some before the end of the year. And they're the finished objects I have for you today. And some of them are for cows that I have started and like at the beginning of the month and forgotten about and finally finished them so that they go for the December cows. So my first one is, and I've got to find the wall there, for the Charm Grammy December cow, it's a bag and it's mosaic type, type crochet. And this particular bag I have made is something I've wanted to make for a long time when the tutorial came out. And I finally found the cotton I like. I really like this cast on Karen cake. I find it soft on my hands. It's not quite a four, but it came close. And it's said to use a 4.5. So what is the tutorial I use? Well, of course, it is the Japanese knot bag by Bag O Day. I love this pattern. I, oh, I think it looks really good. It's not doing it justice there, but there'll be a photo of the end. Look at that, all that bobble work. It's just a great bag. Now, I think she used a six mil crochet hook, but because this was a bit finer than the four she was using, I went down to a five. No, five and a half. I used five and a half because they said four and a half. And I thought, well, I'll go up one and come down half a one from Crystal. I th still think it's a great size and it turned out awesome. To the point that this is on my next year's gift list for Christmas. For those people I want to make a little gift for. And I have four ladies that all get the same gift. So this could be it next year, but it is already earmarked on the gift list because I think this is awesome. Really check out the tutorial. It doesn't take long. And of course, Crystal always does a great job. Now these were 100 gram balls. I can't, there's no meterage in them. And it took two, two 100 gram balls of this particular yarn. There's very little left over practically nothing. The colour I used was called Natural Earth. There you go. My Japanese knot bag for Charm Grammy's Crochet Long for December. Doesn't quite fit her Christmas bag. I cannot get Christmas coloured cottons here, especially in um, eight ply or three weight or four weight. I can get like two ply or, or less, like um, crochet cottons for doilies but not in a, a heavier weight so yes that's why it's not in Christmas colors that's what I made for Charm Grammy's crochet along for December it's been a lot of fun with the different little projects I haven't always done every month but I have enjoyed it so next well Amigurumi Wars yay 
I love amigurumi wars. I never thought I would ever get into amigurumi. I always had trouble making them. But I think with amigurumi wars, and especially with these particular patterns, because they're so well written, so clear, I've come a long way. Do you want to see what I've made? Dun -dun 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 -dun. I have made the Ballard Bear. Yes, Madonna. Ballard Bear reporting for duty. There he is. Isn't he sweet? He's been on the go for a while. I was panicking because I couldn't get fiberfill, but I finally did. But that is my Ballard Bear. Now, it's a paid for pattern, which I bought through Y.O. Kate Crochet Anita, who is running Amigurumi Wars. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you reckon? Let me know. For this, I used Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I actually bought this colour yarn with the intention of making the Ballard Bear. And I bought it a while ago. It's called Spring Green. This Red Heart Super Saver in this colour and the rainbow colours of Red Heart Supers are really hard to get. I have to order them from a company who orders them in and they're not cheap. Well, by the time I pay for freight and they send them to me. They're not bad prices, but they're definitely not as cheap as you get them in the US. But I do like this spring green for the Ballard Bear and the Creeper I made. It's a great colour. Look at that. He's almost perfect. I'm not quite sure I've got his, both his eyes right. But anyway, he's unique. The Ballard Bear. Or she's unique. Is it a he or a she? It's a she, I think. Ta-da! Oh, I love it. I really do. I'm so proud of it. And it's just a little bear. So that was for Amigurumi Wars. And then I made another one. Um, mainly because... I say every week I'm spending $5 a, a week on a squeaky toy for the dog, which he absolutely destroys within a day or two. And I thought, well, I'm going to make him one. So I actually made him his own Christmas bauble. Ta-da! It has a bell inside. It's quite a big bell. So if he actually gets through to the middle, he won't be able to swallow it. But it does have a bell inside. You can barely hear it. He will hear it. So what I have used for that is, it was called Pet Blanket Yarn. I can't remember whether it was Bernay or somebody had it. And they threw it all out on sale. And I could only get this greeny colour. And I made slippers and everything. And I still had enough left to make this. And then I combined it with some four-weight sparkle. Now I used a tutorial to make this and it is for just a bauble where are my notes Shopping today it's just a Christmas bauble but because I used two yarns together and I used a much bigger crochet hook it is called ta -dun, ta -dun. it's a tutorial by Brie and Coco like I said all the tutorials patterns everything I talk about with the be in the description below but there you have it it's really tight it's tightly i'm hoping it lasts longer than a week <laughs> he hasn't had it yet but that's saxon's christmas ball i'll take a photo for amigurumi wars before he gets to destroy it but yes it, it turned out really good i'm quite pleased with that too so as you can see my amigurumi efforts have greatly improved over the year so then it's another cow it's set as calendar cow and for december it was a picture of krista at the secret yarnery with all her blankets and lots of color in the garden and i decided because i got asked a lot at my last craft market for little tea cozies for one cup teapot so i made one in lots of rainbowy colors and i put this little thing like I guess crown on top to sort of camouflage the knob a bit but yes this is knitted and um, just my pattern and I've knitted two yarns together as I've gone so I have used um, Hawaii Mayflower DK premium acrylic is the rainbow colored yarn 
just has a colour number. I bought that from Hobie. I know that for a fact. And that was a scrap that was left over. And then I combined it with this, which was which is a four ply um, pony spotlight acrylic somehow I ended up with. And so I put the two together. And that's what I have left of the Hawaii and that's what I have left of the pony. But yes, this is my December tea cozy for Zetas. Calendar Cal featuring all the colours in Krista's blanket and a bit of green for her garden. So that's one. So the finished object that, that was the bane of my existence and nightmare was Zetas Calendar Cal for September. I sort of thought this would be easy, but I think it was a lot harder to put together than I thought. It was easy to make, but to get it to fit a teapot, there you go. Ta -da. This is from, where's my notes? Just give you a good look. It's 100% pure wool. I have used um, spotlights, entwine, and click heatings country eight plies you make one two three four squares and then a circle and a flower for each side and at the time I thought oh yeah okay but it's actually each side when you put it together is really quite heavy and getting it to fit a teapot because the instructions in the pattern don't really tell you how to put it together like with detail it's like join the top make it fit your teapot da -da -da -da. there you go that is September's tea cozy now I've forgotten what the name of the tea cozy is it's granny something or other it's in one of my Lonnie Pryor books and it is really wild tea cozies now I've always wanted to start making her tea cozies and I thought that was the easy one it's I had it finished, all the squares and flowers finished in September. It's taken me all this time to work out how to make it fit a teapot and look reasonable. So yes, that is my first Lonely Pride Tea Cozy. It won't be my last. I've got a knitted one earmark that I've always wanted to do. So I have two tea cozies, one for September, one for December. And some amigurumis that I finished. So I actually finished because most of these were started and put aside. One, because I couldn't get fibre fill, da 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 da. I've actually finished five whips. So I'm down to 16 whips. Not bad for a week's effort. Some of my whips are small. I was watching um, Michelle from Michelle's Makery in New Zealand. She has just started back her channel back up. She took a break. And she was going through her whips today, like seven or eight blankets on the go, just so many blankets and things on the go that were big projects. If you haven't checked out the channel, please do so. Encourage her to stick with us and stick around because she's across the ditch in New Zealand. And it's always good to have more podcasters, content creators in the Southern Hemisphere as well. But yes... I hope this week to reduce more whips. I'm sort of on a mission now. I sort of think, well, I'll, I did the Ballard Bear and then I'll think I'll finish the tea cozy for December and then I'll finish the tea cozy for September. So I am actually have a plan. I can't say it's stuck, it's stuck firm in concrete, but hopefully I will achieve more reduction of my whips before the 1st of January. So I've had a lot of positive feedback about the new um, make-along for 2023. Um, now remember, you don't have to post your pictures. You can participate and make it a secret project. As long as at the end of the year, you send me a photo of your project, I post a picture of your project listing the colors you used in the month. That's all I ask. By not posting pictures every month, it just means you don't go in the participant monthly prize draw. But if you do it all year, you will go in the end of year prize draw. That was um, a couple of questions I had from people after I posted that video. But feel free to ask me any more questions. Leave comments. Um, 
I really like reading them and life is slowing down at the moment. But having said that, I won't get much crafting done now until after Christmas Day. For me, I'm still working uh, until about Thursday lunchtime and then I have to do lots of different cooking. I don't have to, I choose to. I'm making desserts on Friday too. I always do two desserts. And yeah, just different things. But it's not a lot of hard work. It just means I don't sit around and craft as much. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my makes, my finished objects, especially my amigurumis and how much I have improved. I think so. Anyway, guys, stay safe, stay well, and it's bye from me and the Ballard Bear. Bye for now.